constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. We gave the contract to the Taisei Corporation, but the Japanese government made a request from us to include Fujita Corporation as a partner along with Taisei. The two corporations discussed with Japanese ministers and came to an agreement. So the Economic Committee, which is chaired by Prime Minister Anil Vikramasinghe, and the Cabinet of Ministers, headed by President Maitri Pala Sirisena, approved that decision by the Japanese government. Minister Kiriella then showed two letters sent in by the Japanese Japanese ambassador to Sri Lanka and Japan Bank for International Cooperation, which invests in the Central Expressway project. Make it the Japanese Embassy, Mr. D.C. Disanaga, Secretary Minister of Higher Education and Highways, dear Mr. Disanaga, regarding Central Expressway project section 3. With reference to our letter dated November 3rd, 2016, regarding the above, the Embassy of Japan is pleased to inform the Fujita Corporation, which shows interest in, partic in participating in the bidding for the Central Express Project, Section 3, is a prominent civil works contractor capable to construct the 32.5 km four lane highway. Given the ongoing developments on the above mentioned project, and the fact that nothing has changed in the position of the Japanese government in terms of always posing the highest standards and the best practice. I am writing to revalidate the letter given to the government of Sri Lanka on the 23rd November 2016 regarding the Central Expressway and Fujita Corporation. We don't answer any question raised by the Auditor General. There are people who go into media interviews and talk about highway projects. Do they have enough knowledge to do so? I asked the chairman of the COPE, Sunil Handunethi, if he has the knowledge to assess expenditure for highway projects. The Auditor General, on the other hand, can do it. When people and media oppose these projects, investors get concerned. Then they might cancel the tender. When that happens, someone else can get the tender. That could be the ulterior motive here.